because Manchester City will activate the release clause this week. So the deal will be official in the coming few days or hours, depending on when you're watching this video, but everything is done. Manchester City will activate the release clause. From what I'm told, the release clause is lower than 75 million reported around for many and many years. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here to discuss with you of the news of the day, the news, one of the biggest news of the year, Erling Haaland to join Manchester City. It's a here we go, but now it's time to enter into the details of the story. It's time to enter into everything happened behind the scenes. And so all the secrets of the Erling Haaland deal together. And so guys, let's recap what's going on right now in this moment while I'm speaking between Erling Haaland and Manchester City. The player on Monday was in Bruxelles in Belgium together with Manchester City staff and doctors together with part of his Erling Haaland team as always following him to undergo his medical test as new Manchester City player. The tests have been passed, everything was perfect. So if you hear some rumors on Erling Haaland injuries, on problems on the injuries and Real Madrid or any other club not convinced about the injuries, guys, this is not true from what I'm told. Erling Haaland is an incredible professional. He's always focused on football. He's always focused on training training and he had some normal injuries as it happens in football but never had anything serious and never linked to his lifestyle absolutely so the medicals were perfect in Belgium then Herling Galland was back in Dortmund together with his family together with his father Alfie who is always with him and now the deal is done between Manchester City and Erling Haaland between Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund because Manchester City will activate the release clause this week so the deal will be official in the coming few days or hours, depending on when you're watching this video, but everything is done. Manchester City will activate the release clause. From what I'm told, the release clause is lower than 75 million reported around for many and many years. I'm told that the clause is significantly lower and it means that for Borussia Dortmund is a different news but at the same point of course they knew and of course they're already spending money of this Holland deal because they are set to sign Karima De Yemi from Red Bull Salzburg as new striker 38 million euros plus sedons they signed Nico Schlotterbeck from Freiburg they signed Niklas Julian free from Bayern so they are already working for the future and they will sign one more striker in the summer but now the focus is on Manchester City because the deal is done the clause will be activated the official statement will be this week because of Erling Haaland decision. From what I'm told, Erling discussed internally with his family, with the club and with his father, of course, his father Alfie, to have the announcement this week as he wants to give the best farewell to Borussia Dortmund fans in their stadiums. The relationship between Borussia Dortmund fans and Erling Haaland has always been great and so he doesn't want to leave without uh, giving his farewell to the fans and this is why he wanted the official statement to be as soon as possible to be able to do it during the weekend and to say goodbye to Borussia Dortmund fans. He always loved the atmosphere in the stadium, in the streets, in the city and so the relationship was amazing and will stay amazing between the fans and Erling Haaland. So this is a key point. Official statement is coming very soon. You don't need to wait for June or July. Is everything done? The contract is going to be a five-year deal between Erling Haaland and Manchester City. This deal, from what I'm told, is not going to break the salary structure at Manchester City because we heard rumors of a crazy salary, salary destroying the salary structure at Manchester City, the most paid player by far of the Premier League. This is simply not true. As always, around these big deals for Haaland, for Mbappé and many others, we have a lot of stories, but from what I'm told, the reality is that the salary will be the same of Kevin De Bruyne. So they won't break any salary structure. The salary of Kevin De Bruyne after his contract extension in October 2021 is for £350,000 pounds per week. This is the salary of Kevin De Bruyne and so will be the same for Erling Haaland, almost the same, but everything will be in the same structure. Key point, guys, why Erling Haaland picked Manchester City over many other clubs looking for him for many and many months. First point, Pep Guardiola. The manager makes a difference. Pep Guardiola had many conversations internally with the board of Manchester City. We know how special is the conversation always and the relationship between Guardiola and Chiki Begiristein and Ferran Soriano, the whole board of Manchester City. And he spent three, four months telling them we need to sign Erling Haaland. 
we can't miss on Erling Haaland. Last summer was a shock for Manchester City not to sign Harry Kane because the deal was almost done with the player since long time, but never with Tottenham. And so for uh, Man City, it was a real shock not to sign him. They were able to do it for Jack Grealish, but not for Harry Kane. And so since September, October, Pep Guardiola started the process together with the board to jump into this Erling Haaland opportunity. So Guardiola was really important, not just as a manager, not just a fantastic manager, but also as a guarantee of the future project. Erling Haaland knows, and the whole Haaland team know, that he's going to be a guarantee for the future of the player. Pep Guardiola, his ideas, his system, his tactics, and the whole board of Manchester City, because they are together, Soriano, Begiristein, and Guardiola for the future of the club. So it was a big challenge, and Erling Haaland decided to say yes a few weeks ago. I say a few weeks ago because this deal was verbally agreed since three weeks, but it was never completed on some of the key details of the story, about the salary, about the release clause, about the commission. So before saying done deal and here we go, it was needing some of the key details, like the medical too, but now everything is completed. I said Pep Guardiola and the board, but it's really important to discuss also about the other clubs. I tell you something behind the scenes. Uh, Real Madrid have been pushing for Erling Haaland every single day. If you will hear some stories saying that Real Madrid were not interested in Haaland, this is not true. But it's also not true what they reported in December and in January for many, many months that Erling Haaland had a pre-agreement with Real Madrid. Let me clarify this point. Erling Haaland never had any kind of pre-agreement with any club in the world. Real Madrid, Spanish clubs, English clubs, not true. Never signed any pre-agreement, never verbally agreed any pre-agreement, absolutely. He's, also, he's always been free and he wanted to decide in the summer as soon as possible to respect Borussia Dortmund. But Real Madrid were really serious on that one. They wanted to try for Haaland and Mbappé. That was the plan at Real Madrid. Now, of course, the focus is only on Kylian Mbappé. They're going to sign Tony Rudiger on free, but they wanted also Erling Haaland. Why it didn't happen? Because... Erling focus on Manchester City was a bit different on the manager. Ancelotti is doing an incredible job, but we know the kind of project they have in Manchester City is, is for sure different. And also, uh, another important point, Real Madrid have many strikers. I'm told that it was not a problem for Erling uh, to have Kylian Mbappé maybe joining Real Madrid from Paris Saint-Germain. So it was not a problem of competition, but there is also Karim Benzema. There are many players, and so in Manchester City, the situation is completely, completely different. He decided because of the project, not just because of the money. This is really important because Mino Raiola, the man who was behind Erling Haaland for, uh, for many years, of course, the tragic news we had a few weeks ago changed the timing, obviously, of the deal. But Mino Raiola did his best till his last day to bring Erling the proposals, the salary proposals, at the same level from all the clubs interested in him. So from Real Madrid and Man City, the proposal was really similar, but the player decided because of Man City project with Guardiola and with the World Board. So this is the point of Real Madrid, but let me say that Real Madrid now are completely focused on Kylian Mbappé and this is part of the game of course let me say that injuries were absolutely not a problem so Real Madrid were in it but injuries were never an issue and about the other clubs Barcelona uh, Barca wanted Erling Haaland they were desperate for Erling Haaland Juan Laporta with his great relationship with Raiola was trying in December to open negotiations for for Haaland, but now, of course, uh, was different, uh, even because for Barcelona, on a financial point of view, was simply impossible to sign him. And so they tried a miracle because of the relationships they had, but at the end, it was financially impossible to match the proposal of Manchester City and uh, also to plan for something for the future with Haaland because of the financial situation of the club. Bayern, they wanted Erling Haaland behind the scenes. They were trying and trying since February. They had many meetings with the agents who were the same, Mazraoui, Gravenberg and Haaland, always the same agency, but no agreement on Haaland because the player wanted to try this Premier League experience and also because of the financial situation, Bayern were really interested, but uh, at the end the player decided to go to Manchester City. So now we enter into the final point where all the top clubs will share news with journalists saying that Real Madrid were not interested because of that, that the other club was not interested because of another story. Guys, the reality is that all these top clubs were trying for Erling Haaland he took his time to do this choice because since February till May, till today, they were thinking of many factors. The whole Haaland family, Alfie Haaland, another key point of this story, always respectful of the clubs, but wanted to take his time before deciding on the project. Let me say one thing. I always say that because make you understand who is Erling Haaland. He had the chance to join Manchester United when he was at the Red Bull Salzburg and he decided to join Borussia Dortmund. He had the chance to join Juventus when he was at Molde and he joined, he joined Salzburg and then Borussia Dortmund. So he was never picking the badge or the biggest club. He's always been picking the project. And 
This is the case in Hala's mind. And this is why he wanted to join Manchester City. So it's been a really long negotiation, a crazy deal with many stories to tell into this incredible negotiation. But now it's done. Erling Haaland will be new Manchester City player. Everything is completed. It's a here we go, waiting for the official statement. And now we can say congrats to Man City, congrats to Alan for one of the best deals of the year. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Erling Haaland decision. Manchester City, his future. I wait for your comments here, guys, as always. Remember to subscribe to the, to the channel. As you can see, guys, we are already in summer. We are already in crazy transfer market times. And so join the channel, subscribe, like this video, especially if you are Haaland fan or Manchester City fan, of course. And see you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!